guys welcome back to my channel today is no makeup Monday today we're going to talk about some items that will help you get your skin ready for the summer so let's start in the shower so the first thing you want to do when you before you get into the shower which is what I like to use is the sea booth mimosa honeysuckle shaving oil I use this on my legs when I get ready to shave because I feel like it does a really good job of hydrating them and I feel like it cuts down on kind of any kind of bumps or razor burn or anything like that I really do enjoy this. Besides that, the scent to this is amazing. So if you're looking for something to keep your skin hydrated and ready for the summer because nobody wants ashy dry legs during the summer, make sure you're using something like this, an oil, before you start shaving. I think that it is very, very helpful. It has helped me a lot for my skin. The next thing is important is picking out a shaver. I just picked up my favorite shaver and I just wanted to discuss with you all, make sure that you're using a good shaver, a fresh shaver. Make sure that you are replacing your shaver as often as you should be so that you're not using an old shaver and then causing any kind of irritation to your skin because nobody wants to see irritated skin on your, on your body during the summer because you're showing so much more skin during the summer. So make sure that you have a good shaver and that you're replacing it as often as you need to. So again, this is just the one that I use, so whatever brand you, you normally use, just remember to replace it as it's needed. The next thing I want to talk about is while you're in the shower is a body scrub. So I have this one here. It is the, and it's not like a favorite one of mine, but I do have it and it smells really nice. It's the Sonia Kashuk Pink Innocencia. It's got tuberose, amber, and magnolia in it. This is an exfoliating body, body polish. So again, we're still trying to slough off any of that old winter skin so that you can help your body be able to look more luminous, more glowy, more ready for the summer. So using an, a body scrub is a good idea on your legs, especially. I really do love using this, not this one, but this one's good. I'm not saying this is bad. It's just that I feel like there are better ones. So just find a good body scrub that you enjoy. And I would definitely pick use a body scrub on your body. I have another body scrub here. And this one here is called Get a Little Dirty Before You Get Clean. This is a coffee scrub. This is a deep skin exfoliator. I have not tried this one yet, so I cannot speak to how well it is. But this one comes in a little cute little jar. So there's the jar of it. And it has, it actually smells like coffee. So when you open this up, it smells like you're just make, brewing a pot of coffee, which is everybody, well, most people love coffee. So I really enjoy smelling this one. I've opened it and smelled it. I haven't tried it yet, like I said. But you mix this one up. It says take a dollop of healthy portion into the hands and using circular motions, massage into the skin and taking care to apply to troubled areas of cellulite buildup on thighs, arms, legs, and bottom. So this one not only is an exfoliator, but is something to help with your cellulite on your body. So if you're looking for something that might help you with that, because this is a caffeine pro product, it should help you with cellulite and any, any kind of problem areas you have on your skin. So this is a really good one I got for my legs and for my thighs and everything. So I'm excited to try this out and I will let you guys know a little bit more about this once I've tried it. The next thing you want to do is, I'm trying to find all my stuff here because it's all like scattered, is after you've gotten out of the shower, you want to make sure that you are taking, and if, you, if you've shaved your bikini line, ladies, um, you might want to make sure that you're using some sort of hydration in that area so that you do not get the little razor bumps because that can happen quickly and then you've got those razor bumps and when you're wearing bikinis during the summer, that's not an attractive look. So. I would recommend using some sort of hydrating lotion in that area to help prevent any kind of irritation. Now, we're going to talk about our feet. So, oh wait, yes, we'll talk about feet. Um, so, the first thing that I really love is just getting a regular foot file, whatever, what is this called? I think it's just a foot file, I don't know. Um, I really like this one, I think it does a good job and it's inexpensive. You can pick any kind of foot file up just to make sure you're fluffing off any of that old dead skin on your feet too because you are wearing most likely sandals and everything like that during the summer. So you're gonna be showing a lot more skin like I said, so your feet will be showing. So you might wanna make sure you take care, good care of those. So make sure you um, exfoliate those by using a little foot scrub, whatever this thing's called. <laughs> um, something else that I think is cool but I don't absolutely love it, I think it's a neat idea and it does work is the pet egg. It's the one that like you put it on your foot and you scrape your foot and it takes all the dead skin off and then it kind of takes it and puts it into a little cap. This one's pretty cool, but I think the little foot file works better, honestly. I think this does a better job. And this one has like the, the rough side, like a graded side. 
and then it has like kind of like sandpaper on the side and that will kind of make it even more smooth on your feet so I do like both of these but I think I like the foot file personally better so you choose whichever one you want something else that you can use which I have not tried but I've heard plenty of good things about it so I'm excited to try it is the changing magic foot peeling shoes this you put on and this one it says you leave on for um takes approximately one to one and a half hours oh okay so you leave it on your feet for about one to one and a half hours and then you take it off and then about three wait how long does it take it says in about four to six days that the dead cells will naturally start falling from your feet do not try peeling them off forcefully you will have smooth and soft skin in about two it says toe weeks t-o-w that was hilarious i don't know if you can see that or not but they misprinted there it says toe t-o-w i think they meant two so this is something i've heard a lot of good things about but it's supposed to make your skin your feet look really soft and like looks like you've just gone and had a pedicure done I'm excited to try that out so that's another idea if you don't really want to use a scrub you could try one of these products out now let's talk about after you've showered you've already scrubbed your feet and now you need to put some lotion on your skin so there are a couple items here that I really do like um, the first thing of course is my Avon skin so soft I absolutely love this I know a lot of people don't like the scent of it I actually do like the scent of it I think it smells really good not only is it good for your skin but it actually is a bug deteriorate deterrent deterrent um, so like if you put this on your skin then you won't have a problem with bugs being around you which is I mean in the summer we all have that problem where we have gnats and mosquitoes and whatever and it's supposed to deter those bugs so that you don't have them bothering you so this does a really good job of softening your skin and hydrating your skin I really do enjoy it um, another good body spray that you can use all over your hair your body and your your face I was like your hair your body and your what um, is the Garnier Fructis it's the miracle dry oil this one smells so good it smells like it's got a little bit of a florally scent but I smell mostly I guess it's the avocados in it so it says it's got avocado oil olive oil and almond oil in it so I'm assuming it's the mixture of those three oils that's making it smell really nice it smells just nice and I don't know it smells like food honestly it smells really good so I do like this one I think it does a good job um, hydrating your skin but if you do not like oil products then you can go for a lotion product so a lotion product that I like is this one here it's the Burt's Bees sheer body lotion this one does a good job because it is like a spray you can spray it on and then it kind of just rub it in a little bit it does a good job and this scent Clementine and Calla Lily is a really really nice scent I think it smells good um, and you can pick this up pretty much I think like at Target I got mine at Rite Aid so I think you can get it pretty much anywhere and it smells nice and it comes in a neat little bottle that you can just spray I had another one what did I do with it I've lost it but it was another body um, lotion and it was just um, the La Vanilla it's a body any kind of body lotion you want to use honestly after you get out of the shower just make sure you're hydrating your skin after you get out of the shower because your body's going to take in all that moisture since your pores are open after showering so just make sure you do that now let's talk about if you would like to oh wait let's talk about this this is pretty cool too this is the sit tight intense super intense 4d targeted firming soothing lower body serum by soap and glory this one here you put on your bottom area and it's supposed to help firm it it's supposed to help it's not going to be like a miracle where you're not going to have to work out or anything like that but it's supposed to like help tighten it up a little bit and actually i think it really does there's certain spots in my body that I've tried like just to test it out and I feel like I noticed a little bit of a difference so I think this is a pretty cool product and I feel like it does work a little bit I don't think it's like you're not going to look like you just had some sort of cosmetic surgery or anything like that but it does do a good job so if you're looking for something to maybe like firm up a little bit in your bottom area I think this is a cool product so I would check it out now let's talk about tanning so if you are a person like me who you do not want to go out into the sun and get a big old tan because I mean I know a lot of people do I just don't because I had a really bad skincare problem about a couple years ago where I had second degree burns from the Sun and that was really really scary so after that I've decided that I will get my tan another way if I have to otherwise I will just stay pale and it's okay so there are a couple products that I have tried out that I thought I would tell you about and this one here is called the Saint Tropez in shower tanning lotion so this one here you put it on while you're in the shower 
I don't think this does a fantastic job. I feel like this does an okay job. But the thing I like about it is that you put it on while you're in the shower. So I don't feel like I get my orange hands or anything like that. That's one thing I cannot stand is finding after you've put your tanning lotion on and your hands are orange. And then I'm like, dang, man, I look like an Oompa Loompa. So this one here I think is pretty cool because you can use it in the shower. So that's the one reason I really do like this. Other than that, I don't feel like it does a fantastic job. So, you know. This one here is Jergens. This is the Natural Glow, and I got it in the Fair to Medium Skin Tone shade. Um, it's a firming lotion, actually. So it will firm up, too, as, lo as well as creating a natural, gradual tan. I like this one, and I think the scent to this smells pretty good. I don't think it's a very um, beautiful scent or anything like that. I don't think it's a scent that I would be like, yeah, I'm going to buy bottles of that just because I like the scent. No. But I do think it doesn't smell like too chemically or anything like that so it doesn't smell like a lot of the old tanning lotions I think they kind of smell like burnt skin a little bit and that does not this does not smell like that it smells kind of good it's not like great but it smells kind of good but this does work and if you use it consistently you will see a difference in your skin tone the next one I have is the L'Oreal Paris Sublime Bronze Tinted Self Tanning Lotion and this is a medium natural tan this one is an instant brown glow, won't rub off. So this one here, you put it on and you can self tan immediately. So it kind of, as you can see there, it's already got like the, the color, the gold color. So it's going to give your skin the look of um, like you already have a tan. It kind of makes your skin look nice and glowy like J-Lo. So this is a really cool one to just have the, to use on the daily um, so, or occasionally, whenever you want to use it. But this one will just give you an instant glow so that you can just get a tan immediately. So that if you have something to do that evening, you put this on right before you go and you're good to go. You have a little bit of a tan. So that one's really cool. Now the last thing I want to talk about for skincare for the summer, of course, is something that we all know and we all need to be doing. And that is using sunscreen. Um, this isn't anything that I'm like, yeah, definitely use this brand. I just happen to have this one because it's the sports one and I have two boys that happen to play a lot of sports. So I do get a lot of sports type of sunblocks. But the reason why I'm saying this is because I feel like a lot of people think that, you know, summer skincare and everything is mostly about tanning your skin and everything like that. But you've got to remember, every time you go out in that sun, you're aging your skin. You're damaging your skin. So make sure you're using a sunblock. Sunblock is super important. And like I said, after I found that out a couple years ago after I got the second degree burns... <laughs> I do not go anywhere without using some sort of sunblock. I am a complete advocate of using sunblock. I think it does a great job of helping protect your skin so that you don't have it damaged for later and so that your skin's not aging faster than it should be. So that is everything for my No Makeup Monday. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know some summer products that you think would be beneficial for your skin for the summer um, because I'm open to any kind of suggestions because these are just some items that I feel are important. Some that I feel that, you know, you can do without. I just think that they're pretty cool. So let me know anything that you are using that you're excited about, or let me know an item here that you'd like to hear a little more about, because I would definitely like to let you know anything that I can tell you about these products. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys tomorrow.